Hello and welcome back to another exciting Let's Play of Yakuza Zero. Hooray! <clears throat> Almost had a mistake happen. It wasn't catching my desktop audio, but I got it now. So let's get the uh, the Facebook bullshit up. Oh, mainly because I would like to test something here. <laughs> There's supposed to be a new chat function, and I want to make sure that it looks all right. And it's nothing fancy, it is just uh, some background bullshit, right? Let's see, let's do this. Uh, hello, world. So we should see a background behind the text. Also, I guess I should test to make sure that my... Facebook bullshit is still going on. Oh my god, that is such a delay. I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> Alright, any second now. No? I mean, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. That's just how it's going to be. Oh, no, wait, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that works now. All right, perfect. Okay, so now it's going to actually show your name, Facebook friends. So, um, be careful what you say. Chapter 7, A Dark Escape. We finally exit. <laughs> Chapter 6. And guess who we're back as? Goro Majima. We were about to kill this girl, Makoto Makimura. Sit down. So we're supposed to kill her. What is this place? A warehouse full of old sofas and stuff. Wander around and you'll hurt yourself. Uh, what's going on? Why is all this happening to me? <laughs> well, that's the question now, isn't it? Those Yakuza weren't asking for you by name. You can't tell me you got no reason why. But I really don't have any idea why. The name Makoto Makimura. All the telephone club girls know it. Wait. They know Makoto's looking for a man with a bat tattoo. So is that M Makoto Makimura you? Or was it the big guy? It's... It is you. Then is that the reason those Yakuza are after you? Look, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Who are you? Huh? What? Me. This is awkward. Well, I'm your murderer. It's nice to meet you. I'm a lost cause. Huh? Can't even take care of one person. I'm a joke. I'm a... I'm a piece of... Joke of a what? I'm a joke of a hit, man. All I was told to do was kill Makoto Makimura. I didn't know it was you, a blind girl. But I'm not the only one gunning for you. Just who the hell are you? What's this bad tattoo? And why are you looking for this guy? No more! Where's Lee San? Let me see Lee San. Oh, that's the guy that got shot. The big guys, the Yakuza who came to grab you, they shot him. He was shot, he said I'd see him soon. And I caught her from falling. Relax. Don't know what his story is, but I know he avoided taking a bullet anywhere it'd kill him. Not enough blood loss to kill that guy. Really? Once we're done here, I'll take you to him. But first I need you to tell me something. I need you to tell me everything you know. Makoto? 
So we've confirmed her identity. She's our target. But we're going to help her. Ooh, what a twist. I guess we're not going to kill her. Even though it would help us become Yakuza again. Okay, cool. If you came to kill me, why help me now? Well, what do you want me to do? How do you answer that? This guy could change his mind again. Doesn't matter. As soon as the guy who hired me to do it finds out I'm keeping you alive, he's going to kill us both. But if I knew why everybody wants you dead, I might actually be able to do something here. Okay. What's the bat tattoo thing about? Why, is, why are you after this guy? Is he the guy who the those Yakuza hired to kill you? Why the hesitation then? Lee San knows about the man with the bat tattoo. Huh? Please ask Lee San. He'll tell you everything you need to know. And I can trust that. Yes. Why the hell didn't you say so sooner? What? He may not have got plugged in any organs, but that guy's still shot up. What if he bleeds out and dies on me? But you just... You said he'd be all right. Sometimes you gotta tell a white lie. Yeah, I fucking did lie. <laughs> Listen up. If you don't want to die, do not leave this room. I mean, not like she really can. I mean, she could because I she has every right to be absolutely terrified right now. Are we about to play? No. Would it kill you to say thank you before you bailed? Yamagata. Yamagata. Sorry to drag you out so early. Honestly, hardly uses that shed. If it can buy me a favor from you, I call that a bargain. Oh shit, so we're staying behind Odyssey. Still, asking me to lend you space and keep a girl locked up? You're into some sick shit. No, don't breathe a word about her to anybody. <laughs> that takes balls. Is that really the sort of request you make to your biggest rival? Holy shit. What makes you think I won't go spread this little secret around? If the wrong guys knew about this, I, I couldn't stick around. And a certain boy without me is a big problem for you, too. Oh. Sotan Bori is what we call... Uh, is what uh, Sotenbori is what it is because the Grand Odyssey Grand and Odyssey are locking horns if we were just one or the other you think that many people would care it's just like baseball nobody watches a series where one team steamrolls the rest you think Odyssey has what it takes to keep a one sided game going okay okay fair enough so Lord of the Night really can see the big picture very well I will keep your private indulgences for myself now but a favor's a favor. Don't forget you owe me now. And he's my rival. Oh, and Majimahan. You ever go to the cabaret clubs? Cabaret clubs? Uh, I guess those get more common lately. They're a little different from full cabarets like the Grand and Odyssey, no? Right, they charge by the hour like a cabaret, but offer the same top-grade hospitality of a luxury club, hence the name. I haven't been myself, why? Maybe you should, then. If folks found out Sotan Bori's Lord of the Night ain't been to a cabaret club yet, they'd be laughing. Oh, they that good. That they are. The dawn of the cabaret club is upon us. I mean, no doubt about it. Men and women will both make, uh, make the shift soon enough. Full cabaret's got another few years left. Tops. <laughs> if you're that big on him, why, why haven't you got into the cabaret club game yet? I know business ain't that great over at Odyssey, but you've gotta have can't have that much lying around. 
I already tried. I couldn't make it happen. Wait, what do you mean? Go and take a look for yourself sometime. You'll understand real quick. Whoever rules the cabaret clubs rules the night. I think you'll see why. I'm talking too much again. So long. Yeah, you gotta talk a problem. What's up, running gums? Oh yeah, cut off his finger. Why not? He deserves it. Oh yeah? You think the guy at the eye patch is gonna do some badass shit? Cause I know he is, cause that's me. <laughs> What's up, Jeremy? Okay, so we gotta find that guy that was shot up all nice and disgusting like. And we're in Sotenbori. And what's the last bit of the recap here? Um, yeah, last we saw this guy, he was shot to high hell. And we were going to kill his co-worker, who was really a girl we were hired to kill. So hopefully this guy's still alive, because he knows something about a man with a bat tattoo. And I'm a freak, and I like men with bat tattoos. He's gone. Where the hell did he go? All full of holes. How the fuck is my Facebook thing not working? Whatever. I'll fix it. Oh shit. Ready to stab somebody else. <laughs> Who are you and why are you here? I don't, I don't need to voice act that. Come on, use your words. I'm not involved. I just came to get the clothes for Lee San. Clothes for Lee. So you know where the guy's running uh, place is now. Where is he? Is he alright? Lee San is at my hospital now. Wait, you're a doctor? All Chinese around here come to my hospital. Lee San came in last night. Ah, right. he is Chinese. I'm on Lee's side, Doc. That means you know, uh, Makoto. The girl that used to work here? Yeah, I know her. Lee-san is very worried about that girl. She's the one who asked me to meet with Lee. So please, tell me where this place is. Quick, before I make this hurt. Alright, alright. My hospital in Mahjong, Jambalaya. Sh Shofu coach. Shofuku Cho West. That's where I see all my patients. Man, I keep trying, man. It's Mahjong Parlor, so it's an underground thing. Can I go now? Not yet. I don't want Lee knowing I'm looking for him. Oh. Is that the badass thing you wanted me to do, running gums? I think it might have been. So that was pretty badass. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what's around the corner here. Here's the Mahjong parlor they were talking about. So damn, <laughs> it's good to be back to being a. Uh, Goro Majima. And there's Lee San. I was wondering when you'd get here. Took a lot longer than I figured. What? <laughs> Drop the scowl, friend. You. You're telling me you expect me to find this place? Uh, let me say it was a distinct possibility. See, I ain't your average acupuncturist. God hands, remember? Alright, man, have a good uh, dinner. Well, hold up, you think I let that one slide, did you? I've been waiting for you. You're killing me. You just suck at this game, buddy. Why don't you give the newcomer here a turn? You're in, right? Why else would anyone show up to Mahjong Parlor? See, I always wanted to play around a Mahjong with a hitman. Wait, he knew? He knew I was a hitman? What the hell? 
元気そうにしとるやないか。You seem fine for somebody with holes in them. あほ、抜かすな。死ぬほど痛いわ。Fucking crazy? Hurts like a bitch. I can't move my arm either. Wish I could trade with you. あんた、あの女がどないなったか。You're not going to ask what happened to the girl. If Makoto was dead, you got no reason to come looking for me. She's alive, right? You've never killed before, have you? I can tell just by looking at you. You got to look at somebody struggling to cross that line. Fucking murder virgin. So riddle me this what's a guy who can't kill doing taking hit jobs? You don't know shit about me. Chill out. Green kid like you can play tough all he wants, but you ain't scaring anybody. I can tell plenty about you. Everything. Really. That's Ron. Sorry, pal. Oh, and I lose the game. Makoto ain't hurt, is she? Nah, the girl is fine. Relax. Good. Then what? You come here to find yourself a way out of getting whacked? Now that the killer screwed the pooch, he's not trying to be the next name on the boss's list, huh? Just so we're clear, I, I still ain't decided not to kill her. So I might still kill this girl. I'm not the only guy after her. Take the Yakuza who put air hole, airs in that body of yours, air holes in that body of yours, for instance. What about him? What do they want with her? Go ask your employer. He's after Mak uh, Makoto too, ain't he? Is she a target because you two have been sniffing around a guy with a bat tattoo? Hard to say. Lisa, are you okay? Oh, it's the doctor, and he called a, a gang of delinquents with him. Hmm. Nice playing with you, Slim. We ain't done talking here. You still don't know whether I'm on your side or not. You gonna fight me, anyways? I can't tell whose side you're on. It's safer just to kill you. That's how the Chinese do things in this town. Holy shit. We are in trouble. So much for diplomacy then. Alright, time to kick the shit out of all y'all. Don't bother holding back, guys. Let them have it! Gotta fight the Chinese. And enable Mad Dog of Shimano. That's when he gets his knife out. How do I not have any freaking heat? Wait, come back here. You're attacking the wrong way. What does that move do? Nothing good. Well, now I guess you're more than just a lousy hitman. Could be, I underestimated you. I ain't here to mess with your turf. I just really want to know why the girl's a target. If you were thinking the reason they're after her has anything to do with the guy with the bat tattoo, I'm telling you, you're wrong. How can you be sure of that? Makoto didn't tell you anything? She said you knew. Told you to come ask. She knows. She just don't like talking about it. Meaning what exactly? Her eyes. She's only blind because of the man with the bat tattoo. About two years back, Makoto first came to Osaka. 
no, uh, no, no people here, no place to go, just an 18 year old girl here on her own. She got gigs as a live-in hostess or whatever, bounced around a lot. Problem is that the way they made her, that made her the perfect prey for the Sotenbori's less than savory crowd. Prey, huh? Easy mark. The guy approached her, a real scumbag, chatted her up uh, long enough so that she was out all alone, and then dropped the nice guy act in a hurry. Kept her locked up in a cage so she couldn't get away. What the hell was he after her for? Money. It's always money. That guy with the bad tattoo sold her off for cash. It was a Korean mafia that bought her. After that, you could just imagine the sort of thing she faced every day, morning till night. I will not get specific. But that's why she can't see now. Post-traumatic psychogenic blindness. That's the official diagnosis. And from that gloomy cage they kept her in, the last thing she ever saw was a tattoo of a bat on an arm of a scumbag that sold her. Well, that story's a real kick in the dick. It was about six months ago I took Makoto in. And you've been searching for this guy with the bat tattoo to get her revenge for her. Makoto says she uh, just wants to stop the same thing from happening to anybody else. Me though, I want to snap the fucker's neck in half. Peel his goddamn bad arm right off. But there's an answer, right? The bat's piece of shit is small time. Goes uh, around town picking off innocent girls where he finds them, probably all by himself. Can't imagine a man like that's behind what's happening to Makoto now. The Yakuza hire street punks to do their dirty work, not the other way around. Then what do they do? Well, he's not going to tell us anymore. The girl. She's inside the Haru building on Shofuku Cho Street. Sachukofo. Shofuku Cho. In a warehouse club called uh, that Odyssey owns. So what, you plan just to give, give her back? The hell you plan to do with her boss if you don't kill her? Your boss is gonna kill you, you're a dead man. Besides, that just means Makoto's just gonna get hunted down by the guy hired to replace you. So what, what do you want me to do about it? It ain't impossible to get away. There's just one way you, me, and the girl all get away clean from the Yakuza. I'll warn you now, though. It ain't pretty. Keeping what really matters safe means giving up something equal in exchange. You and I would need to work together. You need me. Yeah. I don't need you to decide whether you're in or out before I tell you the plan. Well, if you prepared to do anything, just how serious are you? I'm dead if I don't do something. I'm asking if you'll do this. So, you in? Fine, I'll do it. Alright, good. You get back to Mokuto, look after her for today, yeah? I got something I need to get done in a hurry now. Just what are you planning to do? I'll tell you once I got it worked out. Till then, it stays secret. How do I get touch in with you? How do I get in touch with you uh, once I leave? Grand Cabaret, I'm there from evening on. I run the place. You serious? You're the guy in charge of the Grand. Next time you're thirsty, drinks are on me. <laughs> All right, I'll get in touch tonight. What's your name? Majima Goroya. Whoever that Lee guy is, he's a piece of work. Nothing I can really do now except check on the girl. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, out of the way. And we take a couple steps and another cutscene. Wait. We had a running man. Wait, we had someone distract us and then someone tripped on us. I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. It's okay, what's the big rush? I have to go to the convenience store, it's uh, the one over there. You got real problems if you need to hit a convenience store that bad. Yeah, I have to get some lip balm right away. Seriously? Yeah, lip balm. I'm in a hurry, so I have to run, bye. 
Foot. Oh, he hurt himself. Hey, what's up? Are you in some sort of pain? Oh, yeah, uh, my feet have been sore ever since this morning. Then why don't you slow down and go oh. easy on yourself? Because if I don't run, I won't make it in time. This is getting real cryptic. Okay, what do you mean? I'm sorry, I, I really have to get going. Bye. <sighs> Must be a real emergency to be on that kind of tear for lip balm. Maybe his lips are chapped like sandpaper or something. I don't know. Very strange. At first, I thought he was going to be a, uh, a pickpocket. So I can see a pickpocket doing that shit. You get the distraction, and then you have someone bump. Hmm, wait. I guess I have to go through this way. Oh, I love kitties. Oh, here we are, yeah. These doors. Okay. You're staring at the map. Okay, Makoto. Makimura. You stay put in here? Where's Lisan? Is he okay? He's fine. That ain't the sort of guy who dies from a bullet or two. If you ask me, the guy was doing too well. I see. Thank goodness. But that means he heard the whole story. There's only one eye between the two of these people. <laughs> or one working eye. You had it rough for a long time. I guess things aren't much better for you now. Stuck in a dusty old warehouse with the guys sitting here to kill you. Well, at least it looks like the guy with the bat tattoo ain't the one gunning for you now. Lee said so too. I see. Sorry to dredge up old memories. It's hardly the same, but I went through some similar shit. Um, it's just one eye, but I was blinded too. And I got locked up for a long time in a place where any day could have been my last. It was probably heaven compared to what you went through. I still got one good eye, too. Next to you, I'm a lucky guy. Sorry, I'm really not doing a very good job of cheering you up. Look, sorry, I made you feel worse. Oof. I know. Are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since last night. I'm fine. Come on, there's no way you're fine. You're just depressed because you're running on empty. Okay, best thing to do when you're down is to eat. It'll help you keep your strength up and make you feel better. There's nothing else I can do. I'll have you a snack in no time. Anything special you want. Takoyaki. See, there, I knew you were hungry. Okay, got it. Sit down just for a minute, please. I'll be right back. Oof, and I thought dealing with professional women was rough. 
Okay, well, let's get her some food for now. She said she wanted some takoyaki. Well, let's get the lady some takoyaki. We're back to the mundane tasks. Eh. Too bad, so slow. Is there a takoyaki place? You know what? I bet there is. And that's why we better check. Karaoke. Hmm. Wait, I think it's a small place. I'm trying to use my memory. I, I totally forgot where it was. Cabbage heavy. Only the finest ingredients. Hmm. Kinru ramen. Fuck. I think I'm supposed to head to a specific restaurant. But I can't remember. Actually, I know it's not this one. Um, okay, you know what? We're going to do something crazy here. And we're going to go ahead and follow the purple thing. The goal marker? Yeah. You know what? We're even going to go cut through this way. <laughs> Hopefully nobody bumps into us. See, I don't mind fishing out here too much because it's easy to get to, but with Kyudu, I have to go and um, do some bullshit. Like, I have to take a taxi. And I know it doesn't take that much longer or anything, but still, it's just long enough. <sighs> Y'all are going to make me fight. Alright. Y'all ask for it. Oops. I am the madman. Damn it. I can't figure out how to use that one move. Okay. We'll figure it out. Or it might just suck. I don't know. I feel like if it sucks, I'm just not using it right. Hey there, got any new telephone cards to show me? Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Now you showed me that already, is that so? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. He makes the saddest noise. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I've done all these. Hmm. hmm. Noise that's tripping me out. We got to stop doing that. I think I only have a few more uh, telephone cards to get with uh, Mejima. All right, get the Takayoki nice. I got it hot. Time to head back there while it's hot. Now, here's one of those dumb things that happens in this game, or one of the things where it just like kind of idiot checks you. It tells you to get it home hot. Mm -hmm. So if you get distracted and start doing side missions, it gets cold and you have to like run it all the way back. What the hell is that? I don't recall there being a statue there. He's a whale-made statue. What's it doing in a place like this though? Pretty amazing detail too. Wonder what they make this stuff out of. Ah! Am I hearing voices? And whatever, this statue, though, sure looks lifelike. Sure doesn't feel like plaster. <laughs> did I start touching the statue? I did. Whoa, 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 what the hell, man? You're alive? 
Hey, buddy, no, that tickled. Woohoo! No touching, please. Uh, think of my act as a classy strip club. You can look, but keep your hands off a performer. Performer? Uh, that's what I am. I'm a street performer, and I go by the name Tokokichi. And what I do is performance art. I'm playing the part of a statue, as you see. Okay, look, I get the, I get the picture. You're really good. I thought you actually were a statue. But uh, why are you doing this here? Oh, you didn't know? This area is holy land for buskers. Holy land? The hell? Heaven, not hell! The heavy foot traffic means we get a very steady audience, and the locals here love a good comedy bit. Uh, so long as they, and they have a great eye for quality. It's my lucky spot. Well, I guess if you put it that way, this bridge does have its benefits. So, uh, you're practicing your act? Uh, yes, that would be a fair description. Ultimately, I'm hoping to be a street performer who inspires little kids to dream big. I think street performers are entertainment that anyone can enjoy. From kids who, uh, learn to speak the elderly... Wait. From kids who just learn to speak to the elderly forgetting the words. Words. I want to make people smile. That's a grand dream. Good on you. Well, I wish you the best, and I'll be moving on. So not sorry to disturb. Oh, no, it's fine. See ya. There's a guy who's got a dream worth dreaming. Hope he makes it big. Maybe I'll check back later and see how he's getting on. How strange. What an odd fellow. Kick him. I wish I could kick him. Uh, Alright, so... We gotta get this food back while it's still hot and not get distracted. We gotta be smart. And we're back. All right. I got some smoking hot tokiyaki. Hopefully it'll help calm her down a bit. Oh, go to the Hey, I got the to uh, tokoyaki. Thank you. Feel yourself calming down now? Yeah, but now I'm hungry. <laughs> That's a good sign. People's people are machines and f uh, food is fuel. Give me half a shake and I'll have a plate, uh, plate ready for you. Does look good and I gotta admit I am hungry. Huh? <laughs> what happened to your eye? Well, you said you lost your vision in one of your eyes. I was curious how it happened. Oh, yeah, right. In my case, it was an injury. Almost more of an accident. Totally destroyed. That's terrible. No, I still got one in hay. It does the job. Thing. Are you daft? I'm a lot better off than you. But mine was caused by emotional trauma, so there's a chance I'll recover. That's what Lee San said. Is that true? So you still got hope then? That is good. But yours is. I'm used to it now. Doesn't slow me down, and it's just my only complaint is that it ruins such a handsome face. Oh, so you're handsome. Uh, I was, uh, I, I was with a matching pair of eyes anyway. Crying shame, I can't show you. <laughs> that is a shame. There it is. It's nice to hear that laugh on its way back. Wait, you wear a wristwatch. <laughs> oh, yes. Isn't that a little odd for a blind girl? I suppose, but it's cute, right? That's the whole point. How would you even know? Yeesh. I know it's strange, but this one plays a little music chime, so it sounds cute and it always makes me smile. What's it sound like? It doesn't play anymore. The watch is broken. 
Are you kidding me? Some things you can't just throw away, you know? Even if it seems pointless to other people, some things are just really important to you. I lost my sight, all, lost all track of time, the watch broke, the chime stopped playing. I know, I have no need for it, but it's a memento of back when life was still normal. If I got rid of it, I feel like I'd never... Hey now. Hey now, now. Still, I would love to hear it chime again. I get it. Huh? If you can't bring yourself to throw it away, keep it. Hang on to it long enough and eventually it'll bring you good luck. Good luck, eventually. Hmm? What's wrong? You're right. It is silly. It's because I keep clinging on to stuff like this that I can't face reality. Oh, she took the watch off! Hey. No, it's fine. Thank you. It's very kind. I appreciate that. Wait, that ain't right. If you feel like you still need it, then it's something you still need. I believe that, really. No, it's fine. I need to get stronger. I will get stronger. She's being a little inspiring right now. So I took the watch. Oh, and I got some news. Your boy Lee says he's got something uh, he's going to look into on his end. Well, I'm come straight here once he's done. You just sit tight until then, okay? <coughs> okay. Now she's... Are you leaving? Yeah, it's probably about time I got to work. Oh yeah, I stopped to go to work. Oh yeah. I still have to go to work. You ever heard the name Sagawa before? The Yakuza? I don't know him. Gotcha. Could be Sagawa's only doing it because somebody else told him. Still, why is a girl like you got the Yakuza after her? So this is this, this Sagawa person is blackmailing you? Close enough. But it ain't innocence here. Killing you was, uh, price of him doing me a favor. Who's gonna get me back in the Tojo clan? It's really nothing you need to worry about. So then what happens if you keep letting me live? Will that Yakuza come and kill you? I'll be fine. Lee says he's got some kind of plan. If that works, could be the both of us come out of this alive. That way, that's what he made it sound like anyway. Really? Hey, the guy's your boss. Have a little faith. Alright, I'll be back as soon as work is over. You'll be good? Yes. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go take care of some shit. Lee will come back here and do his shit. And shit will be everywhere. Hmm. Maybe I'll drop by a cabaret club like Yamagata Han suggested. I might have seen one in the uh, Oganji Yokocho. So, yeah, I gotta go to work and tell these people a lie because they're gonna ask. I mean, we only had like one or, one or two days. And it's already been one or two. So, they're gonna start asking soon. Oh, damn. Flip over and hit him. How come you ain't stabbing with your knife, brother? Oh, I think I know. I think I need to do the training missions for uh, Guru Majima. Sunshine. And it's club sunshine. Care for a break, sir. 
You won't regret paying us a visit. Mm. My name is Yuda. I'm the manager up here. Come on in now. I can pair you with a number one girl. What do you say? Sunshine, huh? I didn't know a place like this was a spot tucked back in this part of town. You guys a cabaret? No, sir. We're a cabaret club. Hey, see, he said cabaret club. Cabaret Club, well that's just perfect. I ain't been in one of those. And this is the perfect opportunity. Cabaret Clubs are an excellent time, sir. A guy like Yamagata wouldn't recommend them without good reason, so there's gotta be something to it. I guess it's worth a look. Alright, lead the way, and I expect you to make good on that promise about your number one gal. <laughs> of course, sir, right this way. It's funny, even if he didn't speak Japanese like we don't, you could still tell he was more than happy to oblige. Alright, man, I've lived in livelier graveyards than this. This is... there's not a soul in here except for me. Okay, here we are, sir. Waiting. Thank you for waiting. Huh? <laughs> Our very own number one girl, Yuki-chan. Hello, I'm Yuki. It's nice to meet you. Oh. Yeah, you too. For a club's top girl, she's pretty low key. Um, let's start with the toast oh. then. All right, che cheers. Why is she nervous? And staring at me nonstop. Is this lady seriously the best they got? Um, sorry, I'm not really sorry. Uh, well, you know what? You're fine, you're fine. Just, are you really the number one girl here? Or, yes, technically, see, there's only three of us working here, including me. What? Three girls? Ain't that a little low? Explains why this place is a ghost town, though. Yeah, we were doing okay until a while ago, but since the five stars came around, every day has been like this. Five star? What's that? See, they, she said it. Five star. The five stars of Sotenbori uh, are basically the five billionaires for Kyuru Chan. And I think we're just gonna like hear a lot of the same kind of bullshit. So. Yeah, all the other cabaret clubs had to shut down. The five stars are so good. How do the five stars do it? Well, their clubs are just really popular, and, um... But that's not the only reason. I mean, they're very popular, but there's more to it. And to put it bluntly, it's harassment, I guess you'd say. Harassment? Well, I've had all the harassment I can take. Oh, shit! It's Yuna! Craig calling us day in, day out, causing a scene during business hours to chase off our guest. I won't stand for it! If you beat me in an honest competition, I would accept defeat gracious, uh, gracefully, but this is just dirty. <laughs> oh, mind your manners. Just where is your proof from behind any of these alleged allegations? Who's a ton of fun? That's one of Sotenbori's five stars. That's the guy I was telling you about. That guy? Yeah, believe it or not, he's one of the stars. His name's Hino, owner of the Club Mars. Mars is basically has monopoly on the customers in this part of town. We're some of his last local competition, so he's leaning on us hard. Okay, so he's in the process of steamrolling this place. I may not have proof, but you guys are definitely the only ones who would stoop this low. If we close shop, the only cabaret club left standing in Sotenbury would be you. Will be uh, the ones that you five that you five stars run. That's the plan, right? Get a full monopoly. <laughs> I'm surprised you pieced that together so well. Good, that makes it simple. Close this Roach Motel and clear out. Except now, and I'll pay you a reasonable sum for your troubles. But if you continue to defy us, the terms of this little reward are going to be quite different. Honestly, I'm offering to pay money for a trash pile like this. I mean, you should be thanking me. Get out. How many hardworking men and women have the uh, have you five vultures put out of business? You're just a gang of low-level, dirty bullies, and I won't let you take over Sotenbori. 
Yeah. I suppose that's the mark of a man running the once popular Sunshine. You're tougher not to crack than most of the other club owners around here. Well, I'll leave it at that for today, but I do expect an answer on my next visit. <laughs> you, you've got my answer. It's in stock changing. Don't bother again. So stubborn. But let's not be rude, hmm? I'll uh, stop by again soon, neighbor. Ah, he's being strong armed. Oh, sold. Oh, that's right. I meant to ask after your daughter, living in Tokyo these days, isn't she? I must say, I was surprised just how adorable she is. Being a parent, there must be no end to your worry. Such a darling girl. The thought of something hurting her just must be keeping you up at night. What are you planning on doing to her? Hmm? Me? Not a thing. But that doesn't mean that the sort of there isn't a sort of brute out there who wouldn't hurt a child. These are frightening times we live in. Do be careful, and I will be seeing you. Damn it. What am I supposed to do? Sir. Well, my date is ruined at the cabaret club. What can I do? Looks like you got a pretty rough, boss. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. You had to see such a shameful display. Uh, don't sweat it. I mean, what's the guy's problem? Sotenbori's five stars, was it? Why are they gunning for your club so hard? The Sotenbori five star are colluding to form a monopoly on the city's cabarets by forcing every club that's not theirs out of business. Cabaret clubs are an up-and-coming industry with a welcome momentum behind it. At one point, Sotenbori was full of them, and it was healthy competitive. But then the stars came in with their underhanded tactics, tactics, buying out other clubs' girls, harassing their staff, hiring thugs to use violence, and they, they just crushed the competition. And now the only cabaret clubs left in Sotenbori are the five and the, the five they control and us. Gotcha, it makes sense why they'd be chomping at the, this bit to swallow you up. They'd have a whole monopoly then. What I don't get is why, that, why they're that desperate to get to the total control of uh, Sotenbori. Can't claim I know their plans, but from the rumors I've heard, they're planning to use Cabaret Club Monopoly as a cudgel to crush their the full cabarets. Crush the cabarets, how? Yes, with the rise of cabaret clubs, the big box cabarets like Grand still control a great deal of money in the night power in the nightlife industry. Their aim is to take those cabarets down and claim that cash, influence, and personnel network for, for themselves. And apparently, securing an airtight monopoly on the newly minted cabaret club industry is essential to them getting the leverage to tackle the cabarets. Ah, no, it makes sense. If they can get the cabaret clubs and the cabarets, then they have control the entire city. Yep. But it isn't uh, fair that the clubs like ours should have to suffer for the treatment of their ambitions. I'd sooner swallow gas and gas, gas and glass, <laughs> than give in to them. But much as I hate to admit it, their constant pressure and harassment has been a steep toll on our business. Just take a look around. Isn't this pathetic? Hope I'd be lying if I said it was anything but grim. If you can believe it, we were the lead. We were leading the pack just a few short moments ago. First, maybe second popular club in this area. Then they started causing trouble here in this club. After a string of incidents, we lost our clientele, and most of our girls were approached. At this rate, the club can't stay open for long, no matter what I do. Perhaps accepting their offer really is the only sensible course. It boils down to my way of thinking, but it disgusts me. Don't care much what happens to this town, but the thought of dicks like that doing whatever they want pisses me off. Plus, if I let them grow, then there'll be trouble for the Grand's bottom line down the road, which means trouble for me if I'm still around. I'm curious about the cabaret and club business, too. Maybe I'll learn a bit by helping out around here. All right, boss, you twisted my arm. I'll help you out. Sorry? Yeah, that cabaret the five stars are going after the Grand? I run the place. What? what? <laughs> Manager of the Grand. It's, you're the one that everyone says is a genius? That's you? Don't know about genius, but yeah. So it's my interest not to let those guys build up any more steam here. Not to mention they sound like a pack of flaming assholes. So, how's about you and me whip this place into shape and take the fight back to them instead? 
You really do that. I can't believe the manager of the Grand would waste his time on an empty little club like ours. Hey, we all gotta help each other in rough times, right? Besides, I'm interested in learning more about the Cabaret Club business model. This will uh, be a classroom for me. Oh, th th thank you so much, sir. Oops. Guess we almost uh, forgot to introduce ourselves. I'm Majima. Let's stir some shit up. I got it, Majima-san. Well done. I am in your debt, sir. Woo woo! All aboard the cabaret train. Woo woo! Have a nice day. Huh? This is the back office. Yes, it mostly serves as a staging area for the staff. I organize things back here, manage the girls, that sort of thing. Speaking of, uh, what would you say to taking over as manager, Majima-san? Would you mind? Say what? Manager just like that? Uh, yes, sir. You certainly have the experience, and I fear that Sunshine can't, uh, can't reach its full potential under my direction. I'd give you total authority. Of course, I'd still be here supporting you in any way that I can as floor staff. Will you do it, sir? Yeah, all right. If you're that serious about it, I'll do my part, too. Leave it to me. Thank you so much. I'm here at your disposal, uh, Manager Majima. <laughs> Still feels a little weird hearing that from you. Now, if it's okay with you, I'd like to jump in right into the explanation of how to run a cabaret club. That said, there's a lot to cover, and I know you're a busy man. Let me know when's a good time for you. You can now use Sunshine's back office as your hideout, which also serves as the key location for your business. As the story advances, you'll unlock the ability to switch protagonists using hideout telephones, as well as changing the clothes that you've earned as outfits. Gotcha. Okay, well, it looks like we're manager of a cabaret club. Let's learn how to run one and get into it. I feel like I mostly remember it, so I may button mash through it, but I feel like I need a quick rehearsal. Uh, Majima-san, I was thinking it would be a good idea for you to run through the basics of cabaret club management. Do you have a moment? Ah. Yes, lay it on me. Right then, let's get to it. As cabaret clubs are, you need to operate your club, earn some money, and grow your clientele, and ultimately your competition. Your final goal is to establish Sunshine as the undisputed top club in Sotenbori. You can open the club as well as manage the girls who will form your active lineup by talking to Yuda inside the club. As Sunshine's popularity increases and the clash with your rivals build he uh, rival clubs heats up, the drama will unfold. Drive uh, those rivals out of business and you'll unlock new combat techniques. Majima can become even stronger. Oh, thank God. So running nightclubs is how I learn how to fight better. So bring the fight uh, to them as aggressively as you can. By driving Sunshine's popularity up, you can transform it to a source of tremendous profit. Nothing like Kiru, though. And anything earned with the club is yours to spend however you wish. That's all I can say about the basics. Need me to run back through that again? No, I got it. Sure thing. In that case, the next step is, hmm, let's see, have you actually uh, open up the place and do prep? This is the sort of thing is uh, the quickest way where you just actually do it. Let's give it a try. I'll chime uh. in with advice as we go. Okay, you got it. Let's do this thing. So we're doing the tutorial, full-on tutorial now. They do not trust me. This is way easier than just collecting money like Kudu did. It's a lot harder work for a lot less pay. But Majima Goro is a badass. Prepare to open... Uh, okay. Oops, okay. Well, I think I remember this. Let's do prepare to open and choose. So what's the club status? Oh, okay. This shows the map. Okay, so we're in the moon area. Potential partners. We need to get more partners. This list. Actually, let's do special training. So there's only three girls here. Let's do Yuki. She's gonna do. Oh, customer service. Okay, Who's right. Off? Shit. Okay, let's do a little casual training. Yeah, yes. Thank you for your help with this. What's up, Yuki Chan? Is there anything? Oh God. You know what? We're gonna skip entirely past this because if I read all of these to you, we'll be doing Who's this shit off? all day. Um, tell me about some hobbies of yours. <laughs> Sure, hobbies? So, like, all I have to do is tell you my hobbies? Yes, come to think about it, I don't know much about you either. Uh, let's do this practice. Hobbies. Hmm. 
I don't have any hobbies. Hey, if you want to be a hostess, that kind of talk isn't going to cut it. But I really don't have any hobbies. I doubt it counts as a hobby, but I do write my dairy, diary every day. Dairy? That's great. What can you tell me you write about? Oh, just boring stuff like what happened today, what I should make for dinner, how my bonsai plant tree is going. Yeah, boring, bonsai, little details work. I'd say little details work. Not a whole You got an eye for detail then. That suits you just fine. Ah, she loved it. Wow, Majima-san, you give people compliments? What? Of course I do, when they deserve them. Really, but Majima-san, don't you think I've ever... I don't think I've ever gotten a compliment from you before. That's because you're, well... Oh, you mean I don't deserve any compliments, is that it? Is that your way of putting your foot in your mouth? I ain't said squat. You really clam up when the guest stops talking, you know? Yeah, I guess I do. I just feel like it would be impolite if I started talking all of a sudden. Impolite? That ain't the right idea at all. Our customers are here specifically to talk to girls. <coughs> but I don't have a clue what I should... Okay. I say compliments, man. If you're drawing a blank uh, on talking about them, try to compliment. Ain't a man in the world who wouldn't turn down a compliment. Compliment? Can say a nice thing about his face or something? Yeah, his face, his voice, maybe his personality. If he even looks a little well off, try saying something about his clothes or his shoes or hell, even his watch. Ooh. Wow, now I... Mashima san, I think this is the first time I felt like I can really look up to you. I guess you don't wear that janky eye patch for nothing. Wait, is that your idea of a compliment? What? I was trying really hard to compliment. I'm sorry. Ooh, boy, your road to success is going to be long and bumpy. Yeah, she's awful. Mm. Let's see, what else is a good conversation starter? Do you have some kind of talent, maybe? Uh, second thought, scratch that. Wait, what are you talking about? Even I have something I'm good at. Oh, no kidding, what is it? Uh, well, I'm... Older people tend to like me. Older guys, huh? Hey, you see, everybody's got a hidden talent. that make perfect for the older clientele. Oh, you're right. I always thought... I was always my grandpa's favorite, so I bet that's why I can speak better to old people. Hey, now, why didn't you tell me sooner? We can't be letting talent like that go uh, to waste, Yuki-chan. Majima, I'm sorry, but thank you. Then it's decided, Yuki-chan, you're going to be our older customer specialist. <laughs> Aww, and she's all happy about it. I'd like to talk to some younger clients, too. All right, let's switch gears. Why don't you tell me about a weakness you've got? Anything come in mind? Weakness? I have a lot of those. What does that not surprise me? Hey, don't be rude. I'm just messing with you. If you got... Okay, just go ahead and tell me. Let me think. To be honest with you, I guess I'm not very good at talking to men. If you're not good at talking to men, then what are you doing here? Well, I'm doing it to, like, you know, stop being scared. You know, I'm a man, too. Oh, that's true, but Machima said I can talk to you just fine. And why is that? Because I'm supportive and considerate? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm probably okay with it because you don't seem like a man at all. Hey, what does that mean? I'm sorry. All right, I think that's a good stop place. Thank you for the lesson. Good thing. So let's go. That was a pretty good lesson. Well done, Yuki-chan. That went better than I thought it would. Actually, you just might make it through this. Thank you. I'm so glad. Keep it up. Uh, you'll have these customers melting on you like chocolate. Oh, cool. She keeps her maxed out level. I don't think I need to train them. Dear God, please tell me I don't ever need to train these people. Yeah, they kept her level for my previous game. Yay! That's super cool. All right, so here's something else that's absolutely great. Oh wait, okay, she's wearing the outfits and stuff that I gave her last time. Okay, she kept her pimped out bullshit. That's great, oh my god, she is gonna be my number one girl. Uh, cast on duty. Oh, thank god. 
Wait, no, 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 no. I want Yuki. Where's Yuki? I forget which one's you. Okay, she's Yuki, yeah. Wait, what the hell do I press now? Where's the prepared? Okay. What the hell am I doing here? Seriously, what the hell am I doing? How do I start this? I'm panicking here. Oh, maybe I... It's fine. You know what? We need a full house. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Okay, we got a full cast done. How do we do this? Son of a bitch! Oh, right. <laughs> I just needed to go up another area. Yes. Ah. Welcome, sir. In that pre-rendered cutscene, each one of those girls, I mean, they're pre-rendered, but they change out. The club operation screen. Sorry, I'm getting into the music. Your objective is to make as much money as possible for the shift ends. When a customer comes in and takes a seat, assign them a hostess. Different customers have their own preferences. When it comes to looks or ability, choose a girl that matches their type and they'll happily spend a fortune. Serving customers gradually tires a hostess out, lowering her hospitality points. Now, when hospitality points are HP, she'll be unable to provide uh, high quality service, so let her rest until it's done. Oh god, I, I, I remember this. It's just more you can get the interface. Okay. Now, they're all gonna be poor. So basically, I see he's. Okay, that there's that little thing in the bottom. That uh, window that's like lighting up. This customer wants cute. So we have to find him a girl who's cute. So we seat that person there. And these people want somebody that's cute too. Circles are good. And then triangles. So we're going to get him a circle. And we'll be doing good. And eventually the hostesses will require something. And I have to provide them the proper service. So that way... They're good to go. And they're taken care of. Uh, it seems like it's going good. I forget. Okay, thank you. We, I guess we just say thank you. Okay. Uh, this person wants somebody funny. Yuki, you're funny. You're my best hostess. You're gonna get worked like a workhorse. I love this mini game, and I don't know why. Like, I. Oh, here we go. She's asking for service, and she's saying she wants a ladies' class. Ladies, yes. And that helps her feel good. Like that uh, raises her hospitality points, her HP, so she can keep partying longer. And it makes the customer happy. She looks so great in her tiara. <laughs> See, these people's max, uh, happiness is maxed out. And when they're that happy, they start spending money and just throwing it around like crazy. Okay, see... These people with the red smile, they're super happy. This guy's like the happy medium. 
I mean, I think we can raise him up one extra level. Be like super happy. I don't think I don't think he's going crazy. Actually, he's. Oh, he declined. Oh shit. Okay, I forgot about that thing. Shit. So I can go into super party mode. Oh wait, wow. See, since we got the party mode going. Oh, I, I thought we could keep the party going. Never mind. <laughs> Like, extend the session. I forget when I can do the ex uh, in the session. Let's praise the girl. We're just gonna praise the girl, because I remember, I mean, the other stuff gets you more money a little bit, but it's not really worth it. Alright, fuck me. Check, please. This person wants to leave. Praise the girl. That's all I'm ever gonna do. Shake your leg, baby. All right, let's. Okay, so I goofed up earlier. You need. Okay, so if you look at the table where they're gonna sit, you can see the customer's expression change on which girl they want. That's the best way to do this. All right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, help, please. I think that means swap ash. Oh, I misread her hand signal. How goofy of me. Okay, we get to try that again. Um, refill ice. Fuck. Did I just do that twice in a row? No, I didn't. I did swap ashtray. That's not swap ashtray. That's not refill ice. I think that is. Sweet. Okay, she says, help, please do the hand signal again. Ah, uh, oh, that's ashtray, that's ashtray. She's saying dump out the ashtray. I might have to do a lot of this off camera, but if I do, then we'll miss some of the, uh, what am I thinking? Five stars. Check, please. Help, please. Yes, the glass. That's what the finger up means. Check, please. Oh, I missed the check. Yep. I did it. All right, cool, 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 cool. I'm remembering this. Cover charge was eighty thousand. Damn. Food sales and drinks. I made four point five million. Staff costs. Okay, so I only made three point eight million. Damn. Okay, that's nowhere near as much as it should be. But for only one club, that's not too bad. What, 200 people came through? Something like that? Alright, that's not so bad. Thank you for coming! Whew. Not too shabby. Still, we're short on guests and gals. Is there no way around? If we wanted to hire new girls, uh, I suppose we could be scouting them around town. You can add new girls to the club roster by adding talent around Sotenbori or by trading in CP uh, from the completion list at the temple. It'll be hard to outperform the competition with an empty roster, so fill it as soon as possible. And word of out of mouth everyday business is one of uh, one way to bring in customers, but I hear signing deals with other local businesses is also effective. Some of Sotenbori's shops will sign partnership deals with you for a price. Partner uh, businesses will send you their clients, uh, send clients your way, growing Sotenbori's fan base in a hurry. More fans means more customers, which means more profits, so sign deals with any hotspots you can find. 
Okay, makes sense. Scout for girls, partner up with local shops. Got it. Looks like I'm going to be busy outside the club, too. Absolutely. Our city's uh, our battleground. There's a lot to do, but good luck, sir. All right, I'll take my crack at it anyway. This place really needs more girls. Hardly any point to opening doors as it stands now. Hmm. But there are the girls over at the Grand I got from the Odyssey in that trade. Long as we got Nozomi, we're covered at the Grand. Should be fine if I can bring the rest, but I'll put in that call now. Aha. I'm amazed, if not surprised, Majima-san. It's hard to believe that was your first time. Keep that up, and we just might really manage to beat those bullies back. And which bullies might Ooh. those be, exactly? Ugh, he know. I'm here for your answer, as promised. Well, you ready to sell this hovel to me? I told you before, and the answer is no. I see. And I was so hoping to do this Oi. amicably. Shame. All right, you lot. Mm -hmm. What are you... Teach this stubborn fool the reality of his situation. Ugh, so you resort to violence in the end. You're a coward, Hino. Sticks and stones. We'll see which comes first. You give me what I want or you die. Either way, I can't wait. Hold up for a second. And who are you supposed to be? Name's Majima. You the Hans asked me to take over operations here. And as long as I'm standing, nobody makes trouble in my shop. <laughs> A new manager? <laughs> well, I see. I'll grant you it's a wiser choice than letting a dimwit like Yuda keep running this dung hole into the ground. And you seem like you know your way around a fight, so you're the boss and a bouncer. Clever choice for an idiot. I am impressed. What do you want us to do? You want us to take this guy out too? No, I find myself curious to see how they plan to claw their way out of this hole. We can crush them any time. But I do look forward to being entertained as I've watched from how far you've managed to crawl after making enemies of the five stars. You were lucky today, Yuda-san. And Majima-san? Well, why don't you try your best? If I get bored, I'll drop by and swat you down like the flies you are. Bring it, Porky. Enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards come crumbling down on top of you. Hope your ass is ready to get buried. <laughs> Well, we'll see how long that big talk lasts. I advise you not to take the five stars lightly. Thank you, Majima-san. No, don't worry about it. The real battle's just starting. We gotta whip this club into fighting shape fast if we want to take them on. We will. I've got it all, Majima-san. Anytime you want to open the club for business, just let me know. Anytime at all. I've got my hands full of my own place, too, so I can't be here around the clock, but I can make a point to drop by whenever I get a minute, okay? So that's the Sotenbori's five stars. They might be tougher than I thought. Yeah, we'll see. He was wearing polka dots, though, so keep that in mind. I never met anybody whose ass I couldn't kick that wore polka dots. Mysterious one. <laughs> Goro Majima. These things are about to get interesting. I'm starting to get why Yamagata Han told me to check out the cabaret clothes, but that ate up more time than I planned. I should get going back to the Grand. Is that true? I can't come in here and do a thing. <coughs> I want to do a thing. I want, I want to run another night. Majima, do you want to run the cabaret club? All right, let's do it. Yes, let's. Such dialogue, man. I swear, sometimes I feel like it's, um, what's that game where he plays a ball that sucks up the entire world? Katamari? That game was known for excessive text, and this game is no different. <laughs> let's prepare to open. So I have 200 fans, basically. How much money do I actually have? I think I have 500 million? Six? Okay. I have, I have, I have a good amount. So I feel like I should buy up businesses. And that would be the smart thing to do before I try and like get into this other bullshit too much. There's the save thing. Yeah, let's save it. Fine, just save it. Okay. We've really sat through a lot of cutscenes, and I've read a lot of bullshit to you. I do not want the game to crash. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, wait, right? I can buy businesses, right? Ah, fine, you want to fight? I guess I can't escape them. Kick him. Okay, Majima fights completely different. Oh yeah? There we go. That's the Majima I know and love. He... F he can attack a lot of enemies at once, but he turns like a fucking turd. He just sucks. Uh, at following people. Okay. Let's go there. I'm gonna do a search for things, because once again, I don't want to just run around and fucking eat up your time and mine. Uh, Majima Club Business Partners. Hmm. All right, I think I found a website. Okay, I did. Okay, so we need to go. This way. Sweet deal, sweet deal. So it looks like Kudu and uh, Majima are both very awesome businessmen. Partnership fee, two million. Damn, that's lightweight. Oh yeah, we're partnering up. We got more fans in this area now. Three million, good God. <laughs> More fans in this area. So we started with 200. Let's just remember that. We're up to 400 already. Alright, here it is. 4.3. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Ah, right, here's a big one. We might get a cutscene. Give us a cutscene. Yeah. Oh, and I can't go that way anymore. a big one. Like, we got two side by side. How strange. 805 in just this one area. Wowee. And a woman to talk to. Alright, we should try and recruit her. You got a minute? This may sound crazy, but you ever wanted to work in a cabaret club? What? A cabaret club? Hmm, if you give me a present, I'll think about it. A wallet or a watch? A nice design brand name one. You can buy me either, and I'll work for you. Designer brand name wallet or watch, yeah? Oh, I'm not going to mess around. I'll have to buy it at one of them boutiques. Oh, good thing there's a save thing right here. I bet in my item box I have one of those. Recovery, other, it's probably under other. 
Ooh, and I have tons of fish. That's fucking awesome. That'll help out with my uh, sushi quest with Kudu. Wow. That's really cool, actually. Uh, let's do the wallet, man. I hate the fucking wallet. Why would I ever carry a wallet? I mean, in a game. It takes up an inventory spot. Hey, I got something I can give her. What am I going to give her? Give her the French wallet. Wow, thanks. This is it. I'll be sure to work at your club. I'm Akimi. Cool. We got some pretty good girls in our lineup. And wait, let's check the business. Did I miss anybody? Oh, I sure did. Ah, this girl's getting attacked. We gotta intervene. I think they might be in front of a business. I mean, I, I, I don't think so, but, you know, we're also right here. It's baseball bat time, motherfuckers! Enough. Here, take my shitty platinum plate. I don't want it. Okay, then. What is this place? Owned by a skilled masseuse. Oh, wait. I can buy this place. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there should be one right here and one right over here. Mm. Okay, maybe I need to go in there and talk to them. Yeah, okay, we need to watch videos. Oh, these things are so goofy. All right, let's find another girl I think I could work with. Um, I've never actually been with an Asian girl. It's not from a lack of trying either. Yeah, let's go with Kyoko. Kyoko, what you got? Enjoy the video, you creeper. I really... I'm sure that this is an actual thing, man. But these videos just do nothing for me. I mean, girl's cute, yeah. But, like, it's it's all the blank smiles at me. Like... <laughs> Am I supposed to be falling in love? I'm just trying to jack off here. Seriously. The gal's got big old whoppers, don't she? Like, <laughs> why is this all in a video game? <laughs> now, if this kind of softcore or whatever this is, if this kind of thing existed back in the 80s, it would have been per perfect. If they could have gotten some. Oh boy! Looks like I finished trying to regain my health. As it pans to a, a tissue box. Is the video to your liking? Hey, it wasn't too bad. Please come again. Thank you. I'll be waiting. Oh god. Do I really gotta watch more? Okay, we're not gonna sit here and watch this shit all day. We can skip the videos and that's what we're gonna do. I need to make friends with this bro. Yo. Oh god, it's Mr. Libido. Hey, you uh, hard at it? Found, found any hot chicks? Uh, a few. Well, then let's uh, swap some info on some girls, you know. Come on, man, talk to me. <laughs> so you go for that type. Wow, I never would have thought. Oh, what? You got a problem with that? Oh, no, man. It's it's just, you know, not like even I go for them. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it's worth a second look. Uh, dude, whatever, look. Let's just hear your pick of the crop. Okay, yeah, sure. Mm. Uh, that about yep. covers it. Whoa, that's, that's way too many. Just how horny are you, man? 
<laughs> That's only the tip of the iceberg. <sighs> you win. Hmm? Hey, what's up? I never talked about this kind of thing before with anybody. That was really weird, even though we're both dudes and all. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? The desire to have sex is nothing to be ashamed of. Every guy has it bottled up in there somewhere inside. I bet it felt good telling me about the kind of girls that turn you on, huh? <laughs> it does kind of feel like a relief to get it <laughs> off my chest. Ooh, yeah, you see? It's no big secret to make out of it. Come on now. Tell the whole world. Yeah, maybe you got a point. You just freak me out while you do it. Osaka sure is crazy, though. Ain't no way to keep track of all the girls here. Yeah, well, that just means we got to share some more info more often, man, to raise your batting average. <laughs> yeah. All right, my monster's roaring. I'm going to go slay it. Damn. Guy's got the stamina of a horse. All right, Mr. Mr. Libido is happy I went in here. If I go in here again, I can make friends with him and this place, and then do a side mission and own some bullshit. Wait, where's the girl with the bangs? I saw a girl with bangs. Um. Oh, no, wait, yeah, Luca. We're gonna look at Luca. We're gonna take a Luca Luca. Enjoy the video. All right, we'll watch this one if she's cute. I really like her hair. If it's like in a photo, which kind of isn't. Took me way too long to choose a video like this. I mean, I know it's not gonna be great, but I still took a lot of care into it. Hey, see, that's what I'm talking about. More of that. supposed to do with that <laughs> video to your yourself? liking all right all right all right all right we're just gonna like skip through them raise the friendship up oh god are we gonna deal with mr. libido again yes no. hey majima son you look full of energy as usual ah. you too then let's trade some info on the best girls in town what? A cute girl would do something like that? Don't get pulled in by the pretty face. She's wild. If you don't watch out, she'll maul you. Man, I was, she wasn't even on my radar, but now I've got some juicy info for you, too. Oh, yeah? You got a name and a place? I do. <laughs> Interesting. You have good taste, Majima-san. Never going to catch up to you in numbers, though. I got to do my homework and focus on how to get my <laughs> top hit rate up. <laughs> yeah, that's dedication. I just go where my urges take me. Ooh, without even thinking about it. Nothing wrong with that either. I guess it's more exciting when you're going in blind. You know, when you try to play it safe, you spend a lot of time going through the photos to pick up the girl you like. Even if the photo turns, if the girl turns out to be just as hot as the photo, it still feels like ah. something's missing. Oh, I know. That's exactly it. That's the only way to taste the thrills. I'm out just to like jump in without choosing a girl and just let fate be your guide. <laughs> Yeah, you're a real natural at this. You've come a long way in such a short time. <laughs> I'm surprised myself. It's easier to talk about it now, too. Maybe my inhibitions are melting away. Yeah, you probably got a lot of stress at your job. You really gotta lay yourself bare, you know? Just like, at least in your downtime. Yeah, it's definitely <gasps> relaxing. <laughs> All this talk is making me frisky again. I gotta go buff the baloney. All right, man, see you around. I guess I should get my chat back up. 
<laughs> Get all the shit back up. Uh, yeah. Let's go in here again. We're, we're gonna take over this place. We just have to watch enough porn. That's all it is. Alright, we're not watching this. We're just gonna skip past it. What was that? I tell you what. I'm gonna take a hit, and then a vape, and then we'll skip it. Feeling it. <coughs> ah, wow. You had a pleasant time. You like our videos quite a bit. Taking a break from the daily routine is important, that's all. <laughs> I guess so. Well, this guy's getting to know me like on a first name basis down at the Jack Off Hut. We provide a relaxing atmosphere for our customers. Please come again. We'll be wait. We'll be watching. All right, Mr. Libido, come come at us with your bullshit. Yo, tell us the thing. Hey, brother, I thought I might run into you. How's it going, man? Found any gorgeous babes? <laughs> the girls are fun enough, but I almost look forward to comparing notes just as much as I like this. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm itching to tell you about my latest conquest, brother. Well, what's this brother thing, man? It seems like we're, we're Yakuza here. Oh, come on, man. It's not like we're strangers. We're comrades in the pursuit of the one-gun salute. Let's keep it friendly. <laughs> Fine. Okay, let's get caught up on the latest hot girl gossip. So we stand around talking about girls all day. She was no good, huh? Yeah, I had a bad feeling about her. Yeah, you should have told me sooner then, man. It was such a disappointment. I had to go straight to another place on after that. Yeah, right. You're right, man. It's like you weren't gonna go. Like you weren't gonna go anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, anyways, did you go to that place I told you about? Yep. Service there was nothing special, though. Why the recommendation? You know the guy on their staff with the weird hair? Guy? Oh, yeah, I remember him with the weird accent. He was a riot. Yeah, he always answers the phone with a yellow, but nobody understands him, so he has to keep repeating himself. I always bust into a gut hearing him practically screaming, Yellow! Yellow! Ha ha ha. A foreigner? <laughs> we're a couple of a-holes. I haven't laughed like that in years. Huh, now we're having fun... Now we're having fun talking to a dude about hot girls. I guess we've uh, drained that well dry. Can't be many girls left in Soden Bore that we don't know about. Mm. True. Well, I guess I'll head home. What? You ain't been to another place? That's new. Well, a guy's got to rest at some point. Well, take it easy then. Bye. It was a weird way to end the conversation. I mean, it was realistic, but this game is, as you may have guessed, not often realistic. Hmm, goodness. All right, let's watch some more stuff. Oh, I just want to be this guy's friend and take over his business and 100% this zone. Is it so hard? <sighs> is it so hard, y'all? This video here like me. It wasn't bad. Please come again. He's more my friend, and I think Mr. Libido's gonna show up and have a, one last bit of bullshit for me. Baby dive. Haven't seen that Mr. Libido guy around lately. B brother. Uh oh, long time no see. What's the matter? Stomach pains? I can't. I can't get it up. Need, need a hand? What? No, 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 no. I can get it up just fine. I'm just... I can get up okay. just fine, just not it up. Mm. Uh, you really? Since the last time I saw you, you've been cutting back on the parlors and clubs and stuff. Then before I knew it, my mojo was just... It was gone. Well, that's what kept you going. Ain't no shock to your strength's failing you when you go without your three meals a day. No, yeah, I, I shouldn't have held back, but... I need to see some girls. I ain't got nothing like that, man. Head to a hospital and see a doctor instead. Please, brother, go to the drugstore and get me some of the good stuff. Good stuff? Yeah, it's an energy supplement called the in Incomparable Haibu Drink. One of those should get me back to normal. An energy drink. You were talking all that stuff along. Well, taking all that stuff, now it makes sense. 
You ain't planning on propping your you ain't planning on propping yourself up on one of those and going off to a parlor, are you? Push it too far and you're not getting back up. It could be the least of your worries. It could even kill you. Well, some things are worth putting on the line for it. That's I'll be fine, please. Bring me the drink. Oh. Alright, no use trying to convince you when your mind's made up. If you know what you want, I'll help. Thanks, brother. Daikoku Drugstore. Go to the drugstore. Which? Drugstore, drugstore, drugstore. I made you out of clay. Let's see. You're going to be yellow and you're going to be... Weapons. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait a minute, that's not right. Let's check on, uh, is it, sub, yeah, sub-stories. Oh, well, good thing I'm a, the right person now. Um... Shit. Well, he said go to the drugstore. I was hoping to find an easier way to figure out where the fucking drugstore was. Let's see. Something bory. So I don't think I found it yet. Just gonna exchange CP here. Wait, oh, that's the Tokiyaki stand. This is convenience store. Weapons and armor. We're gonna do this methodically. Oh, pff, right there. Okay, cool. So if it's up there, or right here, we can go over here. And he said to move quickly, so I don't know if it's bullshit or not. Oh shit, no, 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 I didn't wanna go there. Didn't wanna go there. I'm gonna go to the other side. I am fucking this up at every turn, y'all. What an asshole. Actually, no, wait. This is where I wanted to be. I just hope I can get around... Fuck. Oh, wait, okay, no, this guy's a side mission. Okay, we're fine, no, we're fine. Jaunty guy. Hey, hold up, will ya? Mm. Ain't you that Majima guy who runs the, gr uh, the Grand? Yeah, that's me. I thought so. Well, how's it going? Make it mad, Moolah? I'm doing all right for myself. Uh, you really gonna ask that? Yeah, you're the one who brought it up, smart guy. Well, to tell you the truth, I got a serious right. money problem. Yeah, well, the bank of Majima's closed, sorry. <laughs> No, 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 no. The trouble is, I got more cash than I can use. Wait, say what? What are you saying what to? You earn all that from tips? You some kind of guitar oh, no, maestro? No. Oh, this? It's all mine. I hand it out to people that listen to me play. Are you for yeah. real right now? Well, what else am I going to do? No matter how much else I spend, I can't get rid of it. I took it to a bank, but they said they ain't got enough room in the vault. Figured I'd take maybe some time off my hands and play a song or two. Why not skip the tunes and just give it out? <laughs> well, you got me there. Well, I see why they call you the Lord of the Night. Well, what's right is, uh, what's that got to do with it? Wait, what's that got to do with anything? I mean, you're really that rich. Feels more like you're just yanking my chain. Oh, is this, is my wealth, uh, that obvious? I try not to flaunt it up too much, but, uh, when you're king, you got the aura of the bling. <laughs> Ain't no way to hide my whole yeah. high baller vibe. High baller vibe. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but you look more like a cross between a lounge singer and a used car salesman. Well, that's pretty fucking true. Huh? Seriously, the sleaze is just oozing right off you. What? Well, you're nothing like the type who shows up at my club and throws money around. Oh. That's for sure. Oh yeah, I thought you might say that. What? So what are you admitting? 
Well, it's been stressing me out. I really am rolling in dough, but for whatever reason, people think that I just look like the human embodiment of a gutter. Are you trying to tell a sob story because it ain't working? But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a way to show my wealth off. That's when I heard the rumors about you, Majima-san, Sotenbori's Lord of the Night. First time I saw eyes on you in the street, guys and girls were falling over themselves left and right to get in your good graces. <laughs> I don't exactly like all the attention. Yeah, but you don't seem much, uh, seem much rich at all, Mr. Yep, Majima-san. Huh? Sure, you look flashy on the outside, but it feels like an act to me. I can see the veneer pulling off. Oh, and I hope I'm not a Finny or anything. <laughs> well, I guess you got some savvy after yeah. all. What? Uh, never mind. Tell me, why do you go stomping on the street if you think I'm faking it? Well, yeah, about that. I was thinking that maybe you and I could be friends. What? I want you to show me how to act rich. And what makes you think I do that? What's in it for me? Oh, for you? Yeah. You may have money coming out your ears, but I got I got work to get paid. So, pay hey, up. Uh, I don't know what to say to that. Let me ask you, what's the difference if you look rich or not? A huge difference! When you look rich, you can hit up the girls without them screaming and running away. You might actually stop and listen for a change. Who knows, maybe ladies, ladies will start trying to talk me into marrying them. I could build up a whole Harlem. Huh? So you're just another horned dog chasing tail after all. How the hell did you get rich in the first place? I'll understand this world sometimes. When it comes to money, I got all the luck. It just seems to fall into my lap. Now, how the girls fall into my lap, some popular guys, that's what I'm trying to figure on out. Okay, now you're just being a creeper. How about this, then? How about you help me earn some green, and I'll be your pal? What? That ain't how it works. Friendships ought to be based on something you give away for free. Oh, and now you're going to take the moral high ground. If you're that rich, then you might as well, uh... Buy a few friends. Huh? So friendship can be bought. Alright, I'll buy you, Majima-san. How much? What'll it take for you to hang out with me? Your sleaze is making my skin crawl. If you got pockets that deep, just come to my club as a customer. Your club? Um, that ain't gonna fly. Forget it. No cash, yeah. I walk. Oh no, it ain't that I wanna go. It's just... I have a hard time spending that much cash at a cabaret. You really think so? The Grand ain't some pop dive bar. Like, those girls are having paint through the nose. Oh, don't worry, I got the money. Oh, well, gotta say, the whole thing with the money shower before, might give it a try myself. Wait. Is it just me, or did some of those dialogues get chopped the fuck up? How about you invest in our fund? Then you'd be making money hand over fist. Fund? What's that? An investment fund. Me and the other wealthy people around the country share information. And he basically tells me about Kyuru. Uh, I was getting tired of this bullshit. Wanna hear more about the investment fund? Sure, I'll hear you out. All right, so bear with me. Actually, yeah, I already heard this. So we can skip this entirely. And he gives me ten million. He gets me ten million as well. Fucking silly. Same oh, as the other guy. Yeah. One's rock and roll. One is not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Homie likes to talk. Yeah. Homie talks too much. Yeah, come see me when you get more money. Okay. Alright, we made it past the club. We need to get to the drugstore. Oh shit, I ran into another group of guys. And... There you go. Majima loves weapons. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? 
Where is the clerk at? I think you're over here. Oh, you're right there. I see you. You have eyes and a face. You don't have I see them. Are you selling a thing called the incomparable uh, Hulu drink? What? Mm. I have to warn you, it's very strong. That's why we keep it back. Besides, there's only one customer who buys it. Uh, I think I know him. But you'd like to buy it too. Ah, how wonderful. It must be uh, to be so young. And be careful with it. As I said, it's pretty strong. I'm a little scared now, but whatever, I'll take it. One incomparable habu drink. 30,000. 30,000 for this thing, sure. Yeah, it's, come on, dude. It's not like I have to mug anybody for it. Does he actually sell it as a thing, or? Mmm, he does. It's indescribable. Okay, we'll buy a second one. Arigato! Okay, so this is the medicine for the dude. I bought one for him, one for me. Maybe we only really needed one. Who knows? Who cares? You know, we're gonna run back. I just kind of feel like it. Maybe we'll run into something else interesting. He did say he was in a hurry, and we are taking our time, but that's not my fault, somehow. Hmm. Huh, that boy is on his ass. That's the fellow who was in a hurry to buy some lip balm. Oh shit, he hurt himself on his way to the store. What's up, dude? What? Oh. Down again? Oh, hi. It's my feet. The pain is spreading. It's worsening. Man, did I tell you to slow it back down there and walk? Yeah, you did, but I was in a hurry. I'm sorry, sheesh. How chapped are your lips? Ouch, ow, ow, my feet. Hey, are you gonna make it? Ugh, if only I had some medicine with me. Medicine, huh? What am I gonna hand over? Yes, dude, just hand it over. Here you go, have this. Pardon, uh, you mean I can have it? Yeah, it's all yours. Thank you so much. Whew, the pain's fading away, thank you. Good to hear, by the way, did you get those chapped lips taken cool. care of? Pardon, my lips are chapped? Oh, no, wait, I, I don't understand. Wait, what's not to understand? You don't understand? You I, you were running towards the convenience store Here. hauling ass for lip balm. Oh, I see the misunderstanding now. It wasn't for me. It was, uh, I was rushing because a girl I liked asked me to get it for her. Okay, gotcha. So you were doing your girl a favor. <laughs> yeah, well, basically, I run errands for her like that all the time. Really, and you don't mind being her little errand boy. Go get me this. Go get me that. Run here. No, not at all. She really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Errands and opportunities for me, uh... Are there for me to get noticed. Huh. I can't shake the feeling that this girl's just using him. But if it floats his boat, I ain't gonna rock it. And because I was so diligent about running errands, she's given me a nickname. When we first met, she just called me by my last name. I'm making headway. That's so. What's she call you now? She calls me Erin Coon. <sighs> that ain't a nickname to be proud of. Girl's got a sharp sense of humor and it cuts too deep. Listen, that nickname of yours, you do realize she's turned you, turned you into a personal Ooh. servant, right? Now, is, is that really how it looks? But even if that was her true, I, I would still have a crush on her no matter what. Yeah, that's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground, literally. That medicine's made of real nice quick fricks for you now, but I doubt you're all healed up. Maybe you're right. I'll try talking to her and see if uh, she gives me permission to stop running her errands for a bit. Ugh, he's not a quitter. I'll give him that. But if she wants anything, I've got to be the guy who goes out there and gives it to her. I've got to be. What a nice guy. Well, 
I should be going. Thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's probably waiting on you. Edwin Kuhn, I can't understand wanting to impress the girl of your dreams. I can understand that, but don't turn it into a nightmare. Wait, 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 wait. Turn around. There we go. Damn it. I'm trying to do this just looking at the map. I'm kind of fucking myself there. The map was backwards. Damn. Let's go to work. Oh, God. <clears throat> Here we are, back at work. Goro Majima. Sir, I'm sorry to interrupt, but do you have a moment? A guest in the main hall just has to speak with you. It's just... What's he look like? Uh, not Japanese, I don't think. I would guess Chinese? Rather short and, um, there's no word for it, but ragged? Short and ragged. It can't be Lee. Who in the hell is it, then? What shall I tell him, sir? I'll be right there. What table? I'll take you there if you follow me. Well, then, take me there. Could it be the doctor? He was pretty ragged. Getting involved with the Chinese. Wonder what they want. Waiter, well, this is the gentleman, sir. You wish to see me, sir. It is the doctor. Manager san, remember me. The underground doc from Jambalaya? Oh, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Grand, <laughs> grand, really nice place. Plus all the drinks on Manager San's tab, right? Look. I got this. Deal with him, and whatever his, bi whatever his bill is, I'll cover it. Got that? Of course. Sorry about earlier. You heard anywhere. Oh, fine, fine. Ancient history. Uh, plus, we outnumber you. You really strong. Even Lee San can't compete. <laughs> okay, he has language barrier a little bit as well. He doesn't speak good Japanese. How about you state your business before getting completely wasted? Oh, yes, that's right. I came with a message from Lee San. Lee San not like to show his face around in places like this, so I come instead. A message? Don't worry, I'm not drunk yet. Get to the message, would you? Can you leave club right now? Yeah, why? You leave club, head straight to your home. You live far away, manager son. Yeah. No, just along the river. Good, good. When you get home, Lee Son contact you. Lee Son watching from when you leave club. Wait, he wants to get a beat on where I live. I just bring message, no need to know why. Okay. I got your message. I can! I can keep drinking! Such a big man, I love generous manager son. Lee's being awful roundabout here. I uh, guess I'll dip out for a bit. Hmm. Why would he send him there to talk to me? And it, So he's in my club. Is he supposed to be a distraction? 
Lee's gonna be watching me. Is he the only one watching me? Majima. <laughs> uh oh, it's yeah. Yakuza. It is you. Who wouldn't recognize that ugly mug? The grand man, the grand manager, Goro Majima. Oh, yeah, one from last night, pal. Oh shit. You? Last night? Sorry. Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am. Where do you put Makoto-chan? I know you hid the girl. Where? Oh. That's right, you. The wannabe kidnappers. Didn't expect you to save me the track of, uh... Effort of tracking you down. Smug bastard. Is this amusing you? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to figuring out why this girl's in everyone's sights. What the fuck do you think you are? You got us by surprise last night. That ain't happened again, Patches. Oh, looks like I was ID'd for my criminal activities. At this point, we're done fighting fair. Time for you to see where you get, screwing with the Yakuza. Right, right off the bat. <laughs> you get it. Just gonna go ahead and then Oshi. Get to another guy. Sweet deal, sweet deal. Oh, they got a gun, they got a gun, they got a gun, they got a gun. It's not good. Where's the gun at? Fucking nunchuck bat. Is it really just the one guy here? I've actually never seen that before. That was pretty cool. He has a cartwheel to a fucking overhead smash. Damn! The hell's this guy made of? Who are you? Not so fast, buddy. I thought you had business with me. Shit. I know I've got questions for you and I aim to get answers. You raising hell outside the club, Mr. Manager? Sagawa? The owner. The guy that controls us. And they flee from him. Jesus fucking. Did you get mixed up in some sort of trouble? It's not like I have to bust heads right on your own doorstep, hmm? It's nothing, forget it. Then where are you going? Not work, apparently. Have you found Makoto Makimura yet? Not yet. Huh. And yet I hear you didn't go home last night. Here, I figured that meant you tracked Makimura down. I'm still looking right now. You gave me the job, I still got time. I suppose you do. And once you find the target, killing him is the quick part. Still, sooner's better than later. What are we done here? I don't got time to waste on chit chat. This isn't chit chat, Tiger. And you know what they say about EVC, don't you? Always be in contact. Rule number one of contracts work is your, keep your boss in the loop. A, B, C. Alright, look, we made contact. That's all I got. No snags you want advice on. I'd sooner ask a telephone call than come to you with my problems. Well, I'm kind of telling him to fuck off. But I'll still do it. Totally covering. That's a great lie. Right, I was headed back home. He's got to be watching me. Maybe... Maybe Lee Son knew that Sakawa was going to be following me. So he could do some shit about that. I don't know. I'm just over here processing information. Don't mind me. Deco. Oh. Hey, it's Lee Son. 
How are you holding up, Bear? <laughs> you know the trick for getting your pain? Uh, having your balls to the wall. We don't shake these yakuza now. They'll give us, they'll chase us to the grave. Ain't got time to be feeling pain till this job's done. Yeah, fair enough. Forgive me. The hell's up with this place. What do you mean? Your apartment's being watched from all over. Got at least four sets of eyes on it. I'm impressed you noticed. Do they know you're hiding the code? Yeah. Nope. This place has been under watch for a long ass time. My client's the guy behind the eyes. And there's more to your club, too. Oh, I know. You can add more on the ever road leading out of Sotenbori. But I ain't allowed it out of the city. That's why they're all watching. They're all keeping me from leaving. So this town is your prison. You got it. The hell's that about? I used to be Yakuza in, up in Tokyo. Then I crossed the guy ruining my family and my life down, went down the shitter. Even now, just because they got a lean on a leash in Osaka doesn't mean that they won't kill me if I don't give them a Koto. Eh, that's rough. We all got our baggage, I guess. But that means we can't just stand here chatting. Let's take this someplace safer. Meet you at Makoto's hiding. Here? I'll show you a route where nobody can follow you. How does that work? See, I got a secret door in the back of the patient room at the clinic. Kept it hidden behind a bookshelf. That'll get you through the building... Next, to the building next door. Even if you're being tailed, that passage should be enough to throw off most anybody. How come massage parlors got such a secret escape route? Thought I just told you, we all got our baggage. Just be careful where you're going. You got... You got into it outside the grand prize before, right? The boys who came from Makoto last night know your face. No telling where they could be watching from. Right. I'll get to this. Thrill. So once you're through with that, head straight to Makoto. I'll meet you there. Got it? Okay. I got it. Go on already. Go on with your bad self. First, I gotta figure it out if I'm being watched. Time to play cool like I'm just strolling around. Slip through town unnoticed. Oh... Gonna be a bad boy and try and leave town. All right, let's head towards our goal and see what's up. Looks like more Sagawa's clowns. Guess the bastards are everywhere. Ugh, another exhausting day. I'm ready for a nice massage to beat my busted up body back into some sort of proper shape. Hopefully that'll keep them thinking and I'm still inside long enough a while. Hope to get through this secret door. Ah, oh, God. Said there's a bookshelf. Here it is. Son of a bitch really did have a secret passage. Alright. It's supposed to connect to the next building. Let's see if it does. Hint, hint, it does. <coughs> Never thought something like this was here yesterday. Even if I was being followed, I'm in the clear now. Now... Paul asked to where the girl is. Can I not go in? I can't go in. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, I guess this is important. It's like, oh, fuck, I'm being followed. Let me just run in here and run a nightclub. And then later on decide, like, eh, yeah, I'm done with this.
Good, nobody was looking. If I'm, if I'm going in, now's the time, and I gotta, I gotta pee real fast, so please give me a minute here. Turn that fan off, sorry, sorry. Usually I'm not such a bastard. Publicly. I mean, I say that, but I still have, I say that, but I still have a, a freaking custom made thing saying I may run away to go pee. So maybe I am a bastard every day. Okay, publicly. I just get the feeling that this might be a long thing. I, I think, can't think this chapter is too much longer. Oh. There we go. But damn, and there might be a whole huge action sequence here. What? Is that what your boy got you? Yeah, Lee is out getting us a drink. What's with the envelope? I don't know. Lee San said for you to have you open it. Oh boy. It's better not be bad news. Photos of her? What's inside it? Photos of some young lady. Lots of them. All the same girl. Surveillance shots. Lee San bought photos? Wait, that's strange. I thought it was this girl. Already digging in? Nice shots, huh? What's up with these photos? Easy, Tiger. Don't get your panties up in a bunch. I'm about to explain. Here, drink up. Got one for you, too. Lee. These photos are about that big plan you talked about, right? Who the hell is she? Serial marriage fraudster. It gets better. The guys who fall for her have a bad habit of uh, dying suspiciously. He asks me why she drains them dry, then serves them, their papers. But this monster's got her redeeming features. Take her age and her build. Off a coast to Makoto's, yeah? 
Okay, I don't think she gets people. I was just trying to read fast. Oh God. He poisoned her. Or at least gave her drugs. Lee, what the hell are you doing? What comes next ain't for her ears. So it's time for a little nap. Oh, okay, so he knocks her unconscious, so... He can say... The girl in those photos? She's Makoto's body double. Look, when somebody calls in a hit, what is it they actually want? Results. That their target's dead. Exactly. Results. And the result of a murder's dead body. You offer up her body? Your boss is happy. Which is why we take the girl in the photos. And have her volunteer for the role instead of Makoto. No, wait, just a... You and me will do the job. So he comes in here and tells me a bullshit story. Maybe. Dress the body in this. When the cops go to verify her identity, it's me they'll be coming to. So I'll give them their answer. No doubt about it. That my, that's my poor little employee. And boom. Stupid. As soon as they start investigating, they see it. They'll see it ain't the same girl. Oh, that's fine. After she's dead, we give this girl a face job. As long as she's unrecognizable, we're in the clear. And a little acid takes fingerprints off. Who the fuck are you, man? That's a really brutal plan, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, so we're gonna find a girl, kill her, disfigure her face, burn off her fingertips and make her look like our girl. I just want the truth, who the hell are you? Because you ain't just a goddamn acupuncturist. You got nothing to say? Used to be same as you, a hitman. What? Did contract work for mainland organization. My last job was about six months back. Six months, wait. That's when you said you took this girl in. Good memory. But try thinking that one through. The girl was organization property locked away. How was I going to get her? You think she was just laying on the side of the road? Six months back, I took a job running a raid on some Korean mafia. Turf war over some slave trade. They'd already killed a bunch of our men. There was two of them in the warehouse. After killing them, I left with... Uh, left with a room full of half-naked girls in cages. As soon as I unlocked that doors, they all bolted. All except one. One of them couldn't move an inch. And that's... Yeah, her name is Makoto. She started reaching out in the dark for my hand. Totally blind. Oh dear God, he freed her from a cage. She was, like, psychologically traumatized from the rape. Wow. Once she found it, she latched on it. Latched on it wouldn't let go. I just knelt there crying and saying, she just kept saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. Her hand was so tiny, I couldn't bear to let go. So you've been playing Big Daddy to her ever since. Yeah. See, way back in the day, I really was a father. She was always sick, even as a baby. The side effects of the drugs uh, she needed were rough. By the end, she could barely see. The grip on my hand, it was just like the one I remembered. I ain't about to let a daughter die before my eyes again. If it's to protect my girl, I'll kill any stranger you put in front of me. I know it ain't right, but I got no options. You're gonna help me with it, Majima. I need you to report back to your boss that Makoto's dead.
Damn fool. Uh, you ain't giving the Yakuza enough credit. He'll see through a trick like this in no time. Alright, so what other plan do we got here? You got any bright ideas? We're not we're done talking here. Count me out of this. You're just gonna run away again. Don't think I can't tell. You lost the eyes of yours from the eye of yours from running away just like you are now. Excuse me? Sure, you got your justifications, but I'll bet you came all the way from without... But I'll bet you came all this way here without ever getting your hands dirty, acting like a damn choir boy. But you're Yakuza, no better than me. Once a man steps into the shadows like that, he's black as night till the day he dies. In that case, sack up and meet halfway already. You don't know a damn thing about me. I'll just ask one more time, are you sure you don't want to join me in handling this? No way in hell. Alright, in that case, I'll show you how we do things in the shadows. Can't have anybody who knows about this little plane leaving this room alive. All right, I'll keep your ass. It's over, Majima. This is my one-on-one -on -one fighting. Oh yeah? Get a couch, get a couch. Man, that chick is really out there. Like, she's sleeping good if she can't wake her from this fucking racket. Oh, you pull out a knife, huh? Oh shit, what is it? What is it? What is it, game? Okay, this is like the second time I've fought this dude. God, that move looks scary. I feel like that would really break my el elbow. Sweet, got it. You're doing well. Hell yeah. I'm so glad I got those uh, quick time events. Oh, God. Got stabbed. That doesn't feel good. Okay, he's countering me. Shit, there we go. There really ain't any other option than a du body double. If I want to keep Makoto safe from here on, I need Makoto's dead body. Otherwise, somebody, someday, a lot meaner than you is going to track her down and kill her. Not to mention you'll be dead too. How can you not see this? If and when that happens, all I gotta do is then kill everybody who comes gunning for me. What? You can't seriously think you can... You said it. Once you step into the shadows, you're stained black for life. Ain't no getting that mark off you. But... You can still choose who you bring down with you. You got my answer. He rips the photo in half. Don't let her catch a cold now. She's like your daughter, ain't she?
Hmm. Well, looks like we're on board with the plan, even though we don't want to. Okay, what, are we gonna fall in love a second time? Is that what we're afraid of? I'm gonna fall in love with the next victim. The hell am I even doing? I may have ripped up the photo, but I still carried the clothes with me. Oh. I drop uh, the chiropractor clothes into the dumpster and someone else picks them up. Ogoro. This makes three days. Didn't wind up changing much. If anything, things are worse now than before. Jigs up as soon as Sagawa finds out that I'm keeping the girl alive. I can't risk getting to the storehouse now. Better play cool and head to the Grand like normal. Oh. Well, considering we're playing an action game, things will probably be very dull, especially since we're praying for it. And we're in a lot of trouble. Maybe this is the one game where things will just happen to blow over. Wait. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, come on, guys. Fellas! Why do you not have as many cool cutscenes as Kiru does? Alright, straight to the Grand. No detours, not allowed. Yeah. Shit's about to go down. I really feel it in my bones. Hello, everybody! I am Goro Majima. I wish you all free drinks tonight. And ladies, don't forget to kiss your man. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Do, 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 do. Maybe we head upstairs? Oh. Oh, good morning. We just got a call from Lee Sama from Hogushi Kaiken. Lee called. Someone you know, then. Yeah, what'd he say? Uh, well, not much, uh, much of a message, but he asked that you meet him at Hogushi Kaiken as soon as possible. Yeesh, what the hell does he want after what happened last night? Sir? I got the massage. Thanks for, yeah. for the heads up. Yeah, uh, of course. I'll leave it up to you. Oh, yeah. God, that's right. He sent me to that guy. Guess Lee needs to talk. Says he's waiting for me at Hagushi Kaiken. Hagushi Kaiken. As I'm sure it's more pronounced. I'm so glad we walked all the way in here just to do that. Okay. 
give me the sunshine. Shine, 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 give me sunshine. Oh, darn it. Darn it all. Damn goons. I just want to take him out as quick as possible. I gotta remember, Majima has cash now. Does he share bullshit with... Okay. Oh, no, okay. Goro Majima gets his own... Uh, his own things he can buy. Fuck. Damn. That really cost a lot of completion points, and I'm just kind of starting to really appreciate how much effort I did into the first playthrough I did on this, where I was like, I have to do everything. I simply have to do everything. I really loved this game. And I still do. I got to admit, it's a little rougher, um, let's play videos, because I do so much talking, I don't have enough time to do any commenting on things. And it can be grindy, too. It's definitely stylized and cool enough, but it does... It does not always translate well to streaming. But I just kind of wanted to do it anyway. Okay, back to the chiropractor shop. And this game gets very silly and very serious. It's a great game. It hits highs, lows, and all the between. Oh, Majima, you're here. Glad you're here. I've been waiting. Whoa, slow down. What's got you all pumped? How am I not going to be pumped? Huh? Look at you, playing the hero all by yourself. Still, now this whole thing's behind us, you've done good, Majima. He likes me. What do you want about? What am I... You did her, didn't you? The girl from the photos! Early this morning, the body of a young woman was found in the Sotenbori River. Her clothing the deceased is believed to be Maki Makoto Makimura. The disfigured body has led Osaka police to believe Makimura-san met with foul play. What the hell is this? Wait, if it wasn't you that did it, but that's from the photos. I haven't killed anybody. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Yeah, but the body's wearing Makoto's uniform. You took that with you yesterday. What did you say? Cops came by this morning with a snapshot of the body, asked me to identify her. Her face was all caved in like we talked about, and, but she was wearing the outfit that I gave you. And the phone rings, okay. This is no coincidence. Hi, Ogushu Kaikan. This Ogushu Kaikan here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Omae niya. It's for you. Kawatta de, majime. You asked for me. You see my little present, yes? How do you like it? The hell are you talking about? What do you think I'm talking about, buddy? One dead Makoto Makimura. What? She's officially dead now. That will please your employer, no? No worries. Look, no worries, he'll be coming for your ass now. You should be thanking me. Who are you? What's your game here? I'm looking to trade, you and me. That's not a proper answer. So right now I'm over at your club, enjoying a drink. You're at the Grand. 
Hey, that's enough. Some place you got here, Majima-kun. I'm a fan. Who is this fucking creep? Why don't you come down and enjoy it with me? And, uh, don't keep me waiting, stud. We pissed off somebody bad. Turn through. Okay, yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna Alt Tab, and then we're gonna. Oh, with that, and then we're gonna say thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Wow. Well, it looks like. Uh, Majima is quite in a pickle again. There's some guy who's really creepy and dangerous sounding hanging out at his club. Place looks empty and all of his staff is around him. It could be a fucking slaughter fest and then like if that happens at the club, the Tojo clan's going to have him killed. I mean, there's so many ways that can just absolutely can go wrong. But hmm me, Lee, and Makoto are really trying to make it. Well then, I guess all left I can say is that uh, if you're watching on Twitch, you can go ahead and scroll on down. If you click on the photo of me, it'll take you to my YouTube page where you can subscribe for absolutely free and catch any episodes that I've done and uh, you just happen to miss off of Twitch. So I just want to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.